This is a prototype chapter for The Rest of Us, my The Last of Us and Uncharted inspired adventure in Dreams. This is a very early prototype that may not even make it into the game, but it's the first attempt at a story-driven chapter uh, with actual characters. This is Ali, your companion. Uh, she will follow you through thick and thin, and they have just met for the first time earlier, and now it's time for them to leave. So they're heading into the train station, and you'll notice that there's objects around that kind of look like there might be a fight breaking out sometime, you know, I guess. Uh, you know how it goes. But let's just get down these stairs with the wonky collision as our characters converse. And here is a interactable. This model can be replaced with anything, and then you can just pick it up and edit the text, and it just tells you what the pickup is, give you some lore or something, whatever you want, but yeah, we continue to enter into the train station, and there's a uh, weapon here, so we pick it up, a standard mid-range sidearm, also notice the little soundtrack that played, there is music in this game, but it's very basic currently, so as we enter to go to the trains, a cutscene placeholder sits there, and some molotovs get thrown out. Those molotovs are actually exactly the same as the players, I just sh emitted them and shot them at the ground. <laughs> so instead of coming out of the player's hand, I just shot them from the air. So this guy is a bit dumb, but he's only melee, so he's not going to be able to shoot us, but he will be able to grab us. Just wall attack him. Let's go get his buddy. Oh, we got five pistol ammo. That'll do us good. Oh, shit, he's grabbed me. Oh, tap enough and then... Uh -huh. Right now, your companion doesn't have a weapon. Uh, when that happens in the game, I guess it'll be later, but... <laughs> it's, it's all written down on paper. So, we climb this ladder here. Notice how the areas that were blocked off before are now open and we have to take the alternate route all the way back so it makes the level feel a bit different when you're coming around the other side. So we pick up some ammo here and this guy he's holding a revolver so if I manage to kill him, which I didn't, we can possibly take his weapon away from him. <clears throat> there we go. Get him on the wall. <laughs> There we go, now we get a revolver, which fires slower and reloads slower, but it kills in two shots. Five pistol bullets and one revolver. I'll just go with the pistol. The pistol fires a lot quicker in the med kit, but it does less damage. Ugh. Still glitchy, still a prototype, whatever. Open up this door. And we've got three patrolling guys, so let's, uh, we can either stealth them out or take them out, doesn't matter. Pretty much every encounter you can stealth or action. I wanted to make it, you can play it stealth like The Last of Us, but also that you can play it like it was Uncharted and just go, just go crazy. So here we go, human shielding this dude. know why I turned my flashlight on there, but whatever. Should probably use my Molotov at some point. I haven't lost any health. Okay, so now we come across a hunting rifle. A slow but high-powered weapon. Kills in two shots, and you can scope in. And look, there's some ammo. So we'll pick that up. Then we end, uh, exit the train station, and oh no, the place is all blocked off now, because these guys are organized. Alright, what should we do? We'll probably strangle this guy if he gets close enough. And we'll snipe the rest of them. <laughs> the rest of them. I, I didn't even intend to do that, sorry. I'm just a dork. Oh, 
almost headshot. There we go. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Do I want the shotgun? Yes, I do. I'm just gonna blow this guy apart into jibs. Nice. Let's Molotov this last guy. Sorry, Ellie. <laughs> All right, so now we've killed all of them. We can now escape to our car. We'll pick up some more ammo. But yeah, uh, well, look at that guy. He's a bit toasty. And that is the end of our adventure for now, Ali. There will be a full game eventually, I hope. <laughs> but for the time being, I'm going to continue making concepts for chapters with or without the companion. Uh, I want to at least make one short game first, at least. But yeah, thanks, and time to triangle out of here.